to measure the change in temperature during chemical reactions and conclude whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Materials required Seven beakers, 250 ml, hydrochloric acid, glass bottle solution, measuring cylinder, 100 ml, distilled water, two glass rods, spatula, four thermometers, 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius, weighing balance, W, Sodium hydroxide solution, solid pellet, plastic bottle, ammonium chloride, solid, powder, plastic bottle, and barium hydroxide, solid, powder, plastic bottle. Experimental procedure Take a 250 ml empty beaker and place it on a weighing balance. Press the tear button on the weighing balance and it shows 0 0.000 gram as the weighing reading. Take a spatula and take sodium hydroxide pellets and put them into the beaker Till the weighing balance shows as a reading of 4.2 grams. Now add 100 ml water to the beaker containing sodium hydroxide pellets using a measuring cylinder and shake the beaker until the sodium hydroxide pellet dissolves. Take another 250 ml empty beaker and place it on a weighing balance. Press the tear button on the weighing balance and it shows 0 0.000 gram as the weighing reading. Take a spatula and take barium hydroxide and put it into the beaker till the weighing balance shows as a reading of 15.75 grams. Now add 100 ml water to the beaker containing barium hydroxide using a measuring cylinder and shake it till the barium hydroxide dissolves. Take a 250 ml empty beaker and place it on a weighing balance. Press the tear button on the weighing balance and it shows 0 0.000 gram as the weighing reading. Take a spatula and take ammonium chloride and put it into the beaker till the weighing balance shows as a reading of 5.35 grams. Now add 100 ml water to the beaker containing ammonium chloride using a measuring cylinder and shake it till the ammonium chloride pellet dissolves. Let us label beaker 1 as sodium hydroxide, 2 as barium hydroxide and 3 as ammonium chloride. Take 20 ml of sodium hydroxide from beaker 1 using a measuring cylinder and pour the solution into a beaker labeled as A.
Take 20 ml of hydrochloric acid from the bottle using a measuring cylinder and pour the solution into a beaker labeled as B. Take 20 ml of barium hydroxide from the bottle using a measuring cylinder and pour the solution into the beaker labeled as C. Take 20 ml of ammonium chloride from the bottle using a measuring cylinder and pour the solution into the beaker labeled as D. Take 4 thermometers from the beaker and ensure that the thermometer's mercury level is below 35 degrees Celsius before use. Place the four thermometers in each beaker and note down the thermometer's reading. Now, take beaker A and pour all the contents of beaker A into beaker B. Insert the thermometer into the beaker and note down the initial temperature reading. Then, mix the contents in the beaker using a glass rod and again insert the thermometer to note down the final temperature reading. Note, dissolution of sodium hydroxide in water and dilution of hydrochloric acid are exothermic reactions in which a large amount of heat is released. The chemical reaction in which heat energy is evolved, released or given out by the substance is known as an exothermic reaction. In an exothermic reaction, the net gain in energy is negative. Energy is released in the form of heat or light. NaOH aqueous plus HCl aqueous gives NaCl aqueous plus H2O liquid. Now take the beaker C and pour all the contents of beaker C into beaker D. Insert the thermometer into the beaker and note down the initial temperature. Then mix the contents in the beaker using a glass rod and again insert the thermometer to note down the final temperature reading. Note. Endothermic reactions are chemical reactions wherein the reactants absorb heat from the environment to produce products. These reactions cause a cooling effect by lowering the surrounding area's temperature. The system absorbs heat from the surroundings. The entropy of the surroundings decreases. Enthalpy change is positive. BaOH2 plus 2NH4Cl give BaCl2 plus 2NH3 plus 2H2O. Note, ammonium chloride is slightly acidic and barium hydroxide is very basic so that it will get an acid-base reaction. This reaction is used to recover ammonia in the preparation of sodium carbonate from NaCl.